Hello there. Welcome to Carstead Partners Packaging Spotlight. Hi, and welcome to another installment of Carstead Partners Packaging Spotlight. Um, this one is going to focus on uh, uh, the, the uh, a new um, government regulation just came into, into being recently, uh, the Drug Quality and Safety Act. Um, I uh, was approached uh, a couple of uh, a short short while ago by a PR firm representing a company called Frequence out in California um, to see if I would be interested in speaking with the CEO, uh, CEO of the company, Michael Lucas, um, about how the this new uh, Drug Quality and Safety Act will affect the packaging supply chain, uh, primarily in the pharmaceutical market. So um, I made a few phone calls to some of my uh, colleagues in the, in the trade press. And I said, hey, have you heard anything about this? Is it going to be affecting our constituents, the package printers, converters, you know, uh, brand owners of, of these types of products and, and the like from a packaging standpoint, from, a, um, from that? No, Kevin, I haven't heard too much about it. It's not, it doesn't seem to be on anybody's radar screen. So for some reason, that nagging little uh, guy in the back of my head said, you know, you, you you might want to find out a little bit more about it. So curiosity got the best of me. Um, I decided to uh, to have uh, you know schedule a fifteen minute call with Michael. Um, well, ever get into one of those calls that you know is, is supposed to be a real short time, and you end up spending an hour, and you don't know where the time went. Well, that's what happened here. Michael is very passionate about the subject, very very knowledgeable about the subject, and we really got into a lot of this uh, heated discussion about where the where the whole product will go. In a nutshell. Um, explaining it the way, you know, putting it in layman's terms for me, anyway, um, there, there is poor visibility or the, the, the industry feels there's poor visibility of the component parts of uh, what, you know, of pharmaceuticals and, and how they're put together. Um, and so I kind of sketched out this little uh, layman's term drawing, if you will. If this is you and I down here at our pharmacy counter getting our blood pressure medication or our cholesterol lowering drugs or whatever we're doing at the pharmacy counter, it's filled here at the counter. There's good visibility of what's going on here. It's manufactured here at the pharmaceutical uh, plant and, and organized and, and, and bottled and you know, shipped out from here. So there's good visibility along this part of the, uh, the, su the supply chain. What happens where, the, where it gets fuzzy is down here in, the, uh, in, the, in this part for the component parts. For example, um, certain parts of that, uh, that um, drug may be manufactured in India or in China or in Turkey or in South America or domestically here, you know, whatever, but they don't have a good feel for where all this is and, and how, it, how it's all, um, you know, triggered all the way through. So the, the act is, is, is geared for, there, there may be a printing component of this act that will be with sequential numbers or barcodes or, or whatever that will be affecting, you know, uh, viewers of, of this, uh, of this re, um, uh, video, but uh, there's there's also there's a, there's a bigger component to it, because this will all need to be tracked through big data, and big data is uh, is something that's going obviously going to be needed for this, and there's a huge component of of that involved. There's also regulations involved. Now, I'm not a big big data guy, you know, big brother kind of guy, and I'm certainly not a big regulations guy. I, I think the, I think the fewer regulations, the better. Just kind of get out of our way and let us make money and and put people to work and and, and do good things. The more Dave, uh, Michael and I, you know, talked about this concept and that, the, the more intrigued I got in it. And as a matter of fact, this is kind of the, the point in the discussion where my hair got on fire um, of, of interest in how the, the, uh, the, the whole piece may be taken uh taken in. So not being a big regulations guy, but being a pragmatist, a cup is half full kind of guy, I know that things are coming down the pipe that we're going to have to deal with. So with the idea that, you know, if, if this big data component is, is involved, and there's a lot of information about the, the, the products in the supply chain, why can't we leverage that and be leveraged throughout the supply chain for products other than just pharmaceuticals, but to have visibility of products throughout the supply chain? Now, some of the big uh, manufacturers uh, and, and uh, um, retailers and that have very good visibility of where their products are throughout the supply chain, and, and, it, and it's good, but it could be better. Um, I, I did talk to Michael and kind of said, Michael, is it anything like, you know, Harvest Mark, where, and, and many of you are familiar with Harvest Mark, where they can track a, a product, the consumer can actually track a product back all the way to uh, what field or what orchard or what country of origin and how it, how it got here. Um, you know, to, into their hands, um, and he said, "Yeah, Kevin, it's 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 a lot like Harvest Mark, only on steroids. <laughs> it's much broader, much more intense, 
um, and that. And I can't help but see that there is going to be some some uh, um, printing components to this uh, that that will affect uh, you know package printers uh, um, uh, throughout the supply chain and uh, and brand owners as well. So. Um, I think that there's a, there's some legs to this. There's going to be some things happening over the next couple of years. I think that we'll we'll look back and this will be one of the early uh, um, um, prognostications of of things to come. But keep keep it in mind. Uh, if it's uh, tickling uh, an interest point, uh, give me a call or uh, or you know email me and uh, see if uh, see if we can put uh, put some thoughts to it together um, moving forward. So anyway, thank you for viewing and uh, I hope uh, hope you come back for more. God bless. Thanks.